Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. So I have not posted in quite a while and um, I've actually been quite busy to be honest with you, but I've also been just kind of uh, assessing the territory, if you will, um, and just really honing in on my intuition and um, just trying to understand why attacks come in on me. And I sit and I think about, is it me? Like, is it, you know, my charisma or is it, um, my confidence or, and I don't know. And then I think I will be damn if I am going to stifle my charisma, my confidence, my light, any of that for anyone else. Like their issue, their issues are not mine. And it really gets hard um, going about your day-to-day -day life, especially if you have to work with people. And I've just been kind of assessing things, you know, now that I'm going through the spiritual journey and I've been given messages and insight as to the spiritual realm and what actually happens. And it's amazing. Like it's spot on and it's too bad. I mean, that's the thing. It's really too bad that people have to act this way. Like I pride myself on being authentic, you know, and a good stand up person. I follow the rules and I don't know if people don't like that or, and I, and I also share the things that are going well for me and maybe I shouldn't, you know, maybe this is something that I'm learning being in this spiritual journey is that, um, you know, I should operate in silence more. And, and I've always been told this. And a lot of things I do operate in silence. Like I really do. Like I don't tell people my business at all. There are some, you know, successes I have that I do not talk about it. I just keep it to myself and gloat to myself. <laughs> um, but I will tell you the minute I do, and maybe that's the point. Maybe that's what I should title this video. The minute I do start talking about my successes or what is working is when the attacks come in. And it has to be the people around me that are operating this way. And I know they have the evil spirits that come in and the agents that come in and have them operate against me. But it is unbelievable. Like, I caught something today and I brought it out to one of the people that I feel could be doing this to me. And it's really too bad because this person is in a position of authority. And in my opinion, you shouldn't be operating this way or you better get right with the Holy Spirit because you should not be operating this way. And so the problem is, is there are too many hands in the pot with no checks and balances. I'll just say that. And so this opens up the real possibility of, uh, I don't even know what you'd call it like manipulating the system that I, that we're using because there's no checks and balances. There's no like, um, things that are being dealt 
within a, you know, back, back room kind of a thing um, that puts kind of like a checks and balances in place, you know, so these things can't happen. And the thing is, is I brought this up before, like I want to say before the first of the year to these same people. And I said, you know, and I was straight up because I know what I've been told. I, my intuition is on point. And I said, you know, I have pretty good intuition and usually my intuition is pretty spot on. And if I see these things happening, I know it's happening. And so everything was kind of cool. You know, I will say that there were uh, certain things that happened, you know, um, little one-off things that I was just like, hmm, okay, you know, we'll see how this goes. Maybe it was, you know, a mistake, whatever. But I'm going to keep watching this. And so sure enough, uh, this came up today and I'm not putting up with it. Like I'm not doing it. And I am going to stand in my power. I'm going to stand in my authority and I am going to call it out because this is the season of judgment on your enemies. And I hate to say it, but I'm seeing it. And I'm just like, you keep on, keep on because God ain't playing. God ain't playing and he sure ain't playing with me because there are many times that I feel that I am the test. And I know that sounds crazy, uh, but I've also had this brought to my attention as well. And I'm beginning to feel that I am, I am the, these enemies tests or people that are need to work on themselves and, you know, need to either start experiencing their spirituality and go on the spiritual journey or they just are still in the dark and, uh, like, or maybe half in half out, you know, not, you know, completely, they, they believe in God and all that, but they're still in the world, if you will. And I will say that something very tragic happened. And I don't want to say that this could be retribution. This could be judgment for what these people have either talked about me or sabotage me or whatever. But I am wondering if this tragic thing that happened um, was a result of some sort of judgment on these people. And I thought about this today as I was, again, just contemplating all my spiritual journey and these, um, the sabotage that happened today. And I just started thinking that, wow, I wonder if this could be judgment. And I, oh God, I will say that if it is, it is the most powerful judgment I have ever seen come down on a group of people. And I mean... It's can, it could be bad. And the sad thing is, is that somebody, you know, there could be some innocent people that were affected by this. Do you know what I mean? And that's, what's not cool. You know, that's, what's not cool. Um, but I don't know. I will say this, that, um, if that is the case, uh, that is crazy. And it is the most pow powerful thing I've ever seen about the wrath of God coming down. 
Mm. And I just stay quiet, you know, cause I don't, you know, no, I don't know enough about these things. You know, yes, I believe in God and I have faith and I do have faith that I'm where I'm supposed to be and that judgment will come for how people treated me. I pray for these people, but at the end of the day, um, it's God's will that will be done. And I will, like I said, I will say that if this is God's will, woo, child. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be on the back end of receiving what the judgment could be. Um, it's kind of like my forehead. <laughs> I kind of put it in that category where, holy crap, things could have been much different. And this was for me, you know, like, this is my life, you know, like I could have, it could have not been good. I don't even like to talk about it. But for these other people, it also could have been a lot worse and I wouldn't doubt if the good Lord told these people numerous times you better knock it off knock it off stop this stop what you're doing or there will be judgment and um who knows you know who knows? Maybe it's not only me. Maybe it's other people. Maybe it's the turmoil they've put other people through as well. And if that's the case, there is a lot of karma coming around. And I really feel for these people. So I will just end by saying that the power of God is real. It truly is. And if you don't believe it, you can, you can chalk it up as coincidence. You can chalk it up as, I don't even know what coincidence, but there's no such thing as coincidence. And I feel that my ancestors and my spiritual guides are around me all the time and they are protecting me and they are saying that if you don't stop this stuff, you're going to be in judgment. And this is the season of judgment. So just keep, your eyes and ears open. If you have a good sense of intuition, like I do just operate in silence and just kind of observe the territory, observe what is going on and you know, don't gloat, don't be prideful, but take it to the Lord, you know, for confirmation. But, um, if you have an intuition like I do, you, your intuition will allow you to see these things manifest. And it is kind of scary, but it is also kind of like bone chilling. Like it's like, I mean, that's kind of where I'm at too, is like, that is some serious freaking power. And if you don't believe what is going on, I wouldn't want to be on the tail end of receiving what y'all are receiving. So hope this information was helpful. Like, share, and subscribe and hone in on that intuition because it will be telling you a lot of stuff about what's going on in this season. Take care. Bye-bye.